So now that we've done the first question, um, let's do one in real time to see the strategy that I was talking about. Um, so let's look at this galvanic cell and we'll notice what is being reduced, what is being oxidized. Um, I'll do this, how about this? I'll move this up and I'll copy this into here so you guys can get a better look. Actually, all we really need to do is take our equation. Let's plop our equation right on in here. <clears throat> Here's our balance equation. Um, I'm gonna do this on my iPad, so this might take a while to sync, but bear with me. So we have to do oxidation numbers, right? Um, this is what I meant by cheating. Uh, you can easily just look on this side to see <laughs> what the reduction um, cathode half equation would be. And it's quite obvious once you see whatever you thought, like, we're gonna write it out, but like whatever you thought it was. Um, hold on. Pick that up in one second. Um, whatever, where was I? Whatever is left over is gonna be your anode. Um, but in the beginning, you're gonna use this side, um, this whole half reaction standard reduction potential. Um, E voltage uh, graph or chart to help you get your cathode reaction. So, what we're going to do is look at oxidation numbers, um, or you could just look on, on the left and you'll see pretty much uh, what is being reduced and what is being um, oxidized. Uh, pretty obvious here if you just look at this um, copper. Uh, ion it's just a plus one that's a plus one oxidation number and it's going to two plus clearly there it's losing one electron um if i dare say if we go here where's copper it's actually no wait one electron two electrons yeah just one electron so you'll see here the anode reaction is going this way you see what I'm saying? Because it, this is written in in a reduction form. Um, but since this is actually being oxidized, we have to write it in its oxidation form. It's just going backwards in the opposite direction. Um, we could do that uh, here. Uh, here, let me write down the first one though. So exclude this. And now just focus on this part. So essentially the cathode reaction, the cathode reduction reaction. This cathode reduction reaction is gonna be MnO2 solid plus four. H hydrogen ions aqueous and then we're gonna low key cheat and see how many electrons is being gained. And you can see here it's two electrons being gained. So we're gonna put two electrons being gained. And what's nice about this chart is that this is the most simplified version. So you know it, it it's very simple there makes it very convenient. This is plus two H2O as well. Does that concur? Yes, it does. So what's gonna make it easier for us to remember this is I'm going to highlight, let's get a different color, highlight where we got that from. Here we are. And the other one, where was that? Cu. Let's 
C plus the C to plus this one right here. Okay, so that is our anode reaction. Anode uh, oxidation reaction will be. You can actually simplify this. You don't have to put the two. Um, you could just uh, leave it as. If I'm not mistaken, you could just, just leave it as what it is, right? I believe so. I believe so. So you could just look at the at this one over here, C C plus C plus oops. C C C C plus C plus plus and finally R Standard E cell is going to be uh, 1.2 to 4 minus 0.153, and we can type that into our calculator. It's going to be 1.224 minus 0.4. Give us Zero seven one. Okay, let's see if this is correct. Let's type in our equation. So basically, just look at the green highlighted um, mark. Oops. Plus. Oh, no, that when writing the, um, this is technically correct, but the way they have it in the balance uh, reaction, the way you're going to actually write it is uh, not like this, how I have it written here. It's going to be technically like this. I was just writing it that way so you guys could see where I got it from in the chart. But let's put this here. This is what the reaction should actually be. This is what you're writing. Um, but this is technically written as redox. Um, just to make that a quick note. Sorry for not mentioning that previously. That was my mistake. Oh, wait, no, I was right. Sorry. Shit. Totally fucked up. Uh, don't listen to me. I was looking at this confused. Um, it was written down properly. 
I had jinxed myself because I thought, uh, because I switched it. I, I'm sorry. That's why you shouldn't cheat, you know, and do this the proper way. But because I'm a lazy asshole, uh, sometimes I do it this way. Two decimal places. There's your two decimal places. And well, it looks close enough. There you go.